Belichick are making their record eighth Super Bowl appearance together, but a lot of the talk this week has been about their history of cheating. Bleacher Report's Mike Freeman wrote about Spygate, Deflategate, and other accusations against the Patriots this week. And both Orlando Pace and Steve Spagnola accused the Patriots this week of stealing signals and taping walkthroughs in earlier Super Bowls against New England. Wow, that's heavy. Shannon, mm -hmm. how much does this taint the legacy of the Patriots? I mean, they, they, these are serious accusations. Mm -hmm. It happened. They got caught cheating. It With Spygate. With Spygate. Yeah. It happened. Mm -hmm. And... It's an inescapable truth that when you mention this, this is going to come up. Skip, if I get caught cheating on an exam, I get expelled for a semester, but I turn around and I graduate with honors, that's going to be mentioned that Shannon Sharp graduated with honors, but he was suspended for a semester that is for cheating. Yep. So this is on their resume. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to give them credit because even though they got caught cheating, and like I said, let's just say we wiped that away, Skip. From 01 to 004, we wiped that away. But look at what they've done since. So I have to give them some credit for sustaining this winning because they just didn't go away. And Skip, I always use the uh, Justin Gatlin with track. 2004, he won the gold medal. He got caught doping. They didn't take that gold medal, but now he just beat Usain Bolt last year in a Bolt's final race. Yep. Everybody still wonders. Is he still cheating? Yep. And they just hadn't caught him again. Yep. He can't. He won't ever be able to escape that. No. Nope. The Patriots will not ever be able to escape this. It's on their resume. You can't tell their story when you talk about the uh, the NFL. You're gonna have to mention the Canton Bulldogs. You're gonna have to mention the Acme Packers. You can't tell the New England story history without mentioning Spygate. The Flate Gate's gonna also be mentioned in there. Skip. I'm sorry. And a lot of the and we're gonna talk about this later. But the hate. But a lot of it has to do with the cheating mm. and people just can't and people can't get past that, even though they haven't been involved in anything mm. as serious as five eight since. Yep. People just have a hard time believing because they've never seen winning like this before. Mm. The 70s Steelers didn't do it. The 80s, uh, the 80s uh, uh, 49ers didn't win like this. Skip. No, nope. we've never seen winning like this. No. Nope. So something has to be because it's not like, you know, because when you look at it, you look at the Patriots like, yeah, they got good players. But they're not littered with Hall of Famers. They are not. Not like the 70s Steelers. Mm -mm. Not like the, you know, the 80s, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 90s Cowboys. Mm -hmm. How are they able to win year after year after year 12 straight AFC championship games? Eight Super Bowls in 18 years. How? So it's on there. It's inescapable. And you tell, this, you tell the story. Mm -hmm. Now, as they keep winning, and they distance themselves from Spygate, you push it further and further down. But you will not be able to read this book in its entirety mm -hmm. without reading this chapter on Spygate. Yeah, I agree. So you have become a Bill Belichick fan in Definitely. part because I'm a Brady defender. <laughs> I ask you, Yes. does this taint the head coach's legacy? It's on his resume, too. Okay. And I like him. And, and like people will tell you, he's very engaging, Skip, when you get him away from sure. the grind of every no, day getting no ready. No doubt about he's that. He's very engaging. No. He's articulate. He understands it. He gets it. But it's, it's there, Skip. It's inescapable. And the fact that, okay, I get everybody said, well, there's, everybody was doing it. Well, everybody didn't get caught. Mm -hmm. And then if you were doing it, the commissioner sent out a memo saying that anybody that's not taping from an elevated perch, mm -hmm. stop it immediately. And he bas basically said, F you, Commissioner. He yeah. said the same thing to Eric Mangini because Mangini says, I'm not going to turn you in. As long as you don't do it to your boy, we good, Bill. Yeah. And Bill said, I got you this Sunday. I'm doing it. I'm and, doing it. And this, you want to talk about brazen? <laughs> that's brazen. Yes. And Eric, to his credit, said, okay, I got your back. If he well, doesn't turn him in, this well, is still going on. Mm -hmm. It would be. And a memo had been sent out to all teams that all, this will stop. If you're not from an elevated perch, so nope. Skip, even if you just go up 10 feet, if you go up in the stands, you can do it. You just couldn't be at ground level. Yep. So basically they said, look, you can fish on this side of the pond, yep. just don't fish over here. And what did he, what did he do? I'm a fish. I'm fishing in the pond. I mean, fish, you, you make it seem like only fish are over here. No, we told you not to. The commissioner said, stop it. And Coach Belichick didn't do it. Mm. So he deserved what he got. 
So I'm on record and I'm not backing off what I say the credit should be divided as. 75% goes to Tom Brady and I give 25% to the head coach. We can factor in Robert Kraft, but I'm just doing coach versus quarterback. Okay. 75% quarterback, 25% coach. Other way. I know you say the other way, but every Super Bowl week, I, I try to pull back and I try to elevate Bill Belichick onto the highest coaching pedestal mm -hmm. because he deserves to at least be in that conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously. I still think Bill Walsh was the greatest coach ever because he picked his players. So does Belichick, but he picked some really good players, did yeah. Bill Walsh. <laughs> so that's just me, but I knew him personally. I was close with him, God rest his soul. So maybe I'm not objective. I don't know Bill Belichick. I don't know Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. But... Every time I try to elevate him to that pedestal, I start thinking about all these things, starting with Spygate. And then all the accusations, and they're springing up again. They're rearing their ugly heads another Super Bowl week, and they're coming out of the woodwork. Steve Spagnuolo and Orlando Pace, they're all convinced that their walkthroughs got spied upon and before the, the Super Bowl. Then the former general manager of the uh, Carolina Panthers. He did. He went public led. on the radio about it. Okay. Yep. They're just convinced. Is there any proof of either of those spying episodes on walkthroughs ahead of the first two Brady Belichick Super Bowls? Nope. No proof. Except public accusations. Mm -hmm. Convinced of. And then how many reports and stories and speculation have we read about what goes on in Foxborough? Jammed radio signals. Steelers. Mike Tomlin. Says he suddenly got the Patriots radio broadcast in his headset. What? Yeah. What's that? Peyton Manning saying there's no way I would have a, st a strategy conversation in the confines of the visitor's locker room because he was convinced it was bugged. Yep, he'd go in the hallway. If you leave your game plans lying around and then you go out to warm up, you better be careful, say, a lot of teams. You know, they're convinced that Patriots spies slipped in and stole their game plans. Okay, so this is, it mounts and it's gone on year after year after year. And I'm going to say this again. There is some scoundrel in Bill Belichick. Some. Not, I'm not saying he's a scoundrel, but he's got that gear in him mm -hmm. that I don't understand. Because he's clearly, you can argue, but, but I'll, I'll go this far. He's the greatest defensive mind this game has ever seen. Got a game plan in the Hall of Fame to prove it. Okay. St. Louis Rams. No, the one against the, uh, the K-Gun. Okay, you know, yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about off the, uh, his uh, coordinator. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. the D coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, by the way, there's... The bill, the two bill story is going to be on ESPN tonight. I want to see it. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So, but but again, that was greatness, and then it's amplified by this greatness. So right. I give you all that, but but why would a guy that great with that gifted of a defensive mind? Why would he need to resort to any of this? Like like Bill Walsh wouldn't want to cheat. And again, maybe he did, and I don't know about it. But I don't know about it. Right. I never heard anybody right. accuse Bill Walsh right. of cheating during games mm -hmm. because. He was pretty arrogant in a good way, and he just thought he could outwit you. You know, he didn't need to cheat you. He'll just outwit you. What did Tom Howe say? No. Nope. Tom Brady's trying to get 1% better. Okay. Coach Belichick is trying to get 1% better. All right. Get, I these agree. Game, these I, games I agree. are not being won by 30. They're being won by a field goal. Yeah. They're being won by four points. So that 1%. Is enough is the difference between winning mm -hmm. and losing. So don't tell me, well, it didn't make that big of a nobody does anything if they don't think it's gonna help okay. them win. Tom Brady believes in Alex Guerrero because he believes that it's helping him have longevity and play at the height of it that he's mm -hmm. ever played. Okay. So don't tell me, well, it, he didn't gain it. Yes, he did. That's why he did it. Okay. And furthermore, if you analyze what Bill Belichick is made of. He was not a former college or pro football player at a high level. He right. went to Division Three Wesleyan, mm -hmm. played a little football, a lot of lacrosse. But, but it, was he an extraordinary athlete? He was not an athlete to speak of. Right. And he faced and saw, he looked right into the eyes of his coaching mortality in Cleveland where he got fired, what was it, five seasons and five only seasons. one winning one season. Yeah. And then first year, first go around in Foxborough for the Patriots, they go 5-11, and 11, they go 0-2, oh and, and during the, the second loss, Drew Bledsoe gets hurt. Out of heaven falls Tom Brady, but you got to give Belichick credit because obviously he went with the sixth round right. gawky-looking kid from Mich he Michigan. He kept four quarterbacks. Yeah. The year he Tom did. was a rookie, yeah. he kept four quarterbacks, okay. which was unheard of. Okay, but does he have an insecure streak in him because he knows what it feels like to get fired of and course. to go 5 11 in his first year? Yeah. Yes, he does. Absolutely. Okay, so is is there a little bit of insecurity showing where I got to get that 1%? I got to, because th this isn't like outrageous stuff. Like, no. like, it, it, but I don't know. Maybe it adds up to outrageous. It's, yeah. 
right? Well, it's Kev, we, we will do everything. A lot of quarterbacks like to hear the TV copies. Yeah. A lot of defensive players like to hear the TV copy because that's how they got Peyton Manning. That's what they finally understood what yep. Omaha meant. And when he was redirecting okay. and when he would give calls, I got it. That's why they like to hear TV copy. OK. OK. If I know Skip, if I get it, if I come out in three by in a three by one, three wide receivers and three by one, three on one side, one yep. the other. And OK, this is the defense. But I know if I motion, you're going to go to this. And I know that through the signals, taping your signals mm -hmm. and seeing this on tape. Well, Skip already got the check. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what that's how it helps you. OK. It helped Tom Brady. It, it could, and I agree. He has benefited going along for this ride. Yes. Do I think he cheated? Do I think it was his idea I don't idea think he knew cheat? anything about right. it. All right, and I don't think he knew anything about completely deflated footballs because I believe what he has said, I only wanted them deflated to the lower end of regulation. Okay. But what happened when they were legally inflated at halftime of the deflate gate AFC championship yeah. game? What happened in the second half? He torched the Colts with yeah. a legally inflated. So it, it didn't give him any huge advantage, He right? could have been playing with a bowling ball. Okay. They were going to steamroll the Colts because they had okay. the best team. Guess who he just steamrolled in in the next game, which was the Super Bowl, the Legion of Boom. You say they're all beat up. Well, he threw for, what, 378 in that game? And in the fourth quarter, he threw for 124 and two touchdowns and brought them from yeah, 10 points up. down. They okay, but, but still, that's legally inflated football. So what advantage did he get from deflated? I, I see none. Sorry. It just doesn't sit right for me. Really? It just feels wrong. Well, I mean, it does. It, it, does. it just yeah. feels a little fishy. Yeah. yeah. But, and you, and you just wonder. They've done it for a while. Are they, are they doing it? Are they cheating in another way? Yeah, it's mm. just there's probably more to it. But either way. I don't know. We're going to move on. Will Terrell Owens and Randy Moss make the Hall of Fame this weekend? We'll mm. discuss that with Rob Parker coming up next.